<laughs> All right, good morning, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know what this video is gonna be. Like, I just had the summers to just like kind of film because I don't know. I feel like I need to like vent slash talk. So I'll talk to a camera. But what a better way to do that than my body just made so many noises right there. Oh my god. So yeah. Hi, uh, my voice kind of sounds hoarse. I don't know why. I hope I'm not fucking getting sick or anything, but... So it turns out I was actually getting sick. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, I caught a bad sinus infection, and it's literally been three weeks, and I'm just now recovering from it. So yeah, I had no idea what I was in for. So, if you're new to my channel, please watch another video. I don't want this to be the first impression of me. Yeah, watch any of my other more popular videos. That more accurately represents the videos you'll typically see on this channel. But yeah, as for now, uh, I'm moving out of my dorm. And it's kind of sad, I'm not gonna lie. I've been, I'm not really an emotional person, I would say, but I, I feel like fucking, like I'm in sad boy hours. Like, it's kind of, it's really sad, actually. So, I, don't know, I thought I might do like a, move out of my dorm with me kind of video if that interests you at all maybe talk about i don't know what's happening here if you're curious specifically and how purdue students and purdue itself is handling the situation or you're not from the u.s and you're wondering how things are going here it's funny because the video before this is probably going to be like an apartment tour like oh everything's fine whatever and now it's me leaving this apartment so isn't that interesting how the world works all right, isn't this more intimate now? Isn't this great? So if you're wondering, this is from the Purdue Bookstore. Hi, so this is me editing two months in the future. And I just wanted to insert this little disclaimer though, because a lot of the things I say in this next clip are really outdated because obviously this whole COVID crisis has progressed a lot since it first started blowing up. So I'm gonna leave this up. I'm gonna leave this part in the video because I, first of all, I spent a lot of time editing it. And second of all, um, if you're just sort of interested to see what kind of I was feeling in the heat of the moment there's still I guess that value to the clips so I'll leave them in but I'll put a timestamp here so if you want to skip all the part and go directly to the Q&A session of this video uh you can go do that but yeah just thought I'd say that and enjoy the rest of the video Bye -bye. yeah it's basically what Purdue did one week ago like a week and two days ago I remember specifically it was Tuesday of last week everyone was still here and like the whole coronavirus thing was kind of blowing up but and like a couple schools closed but it wasn't a major deal. And then literally like that evening, we got an email being like, hey, you're, we're switching it online potentially for the rest of the semester. We'll talk about coming back, but like most likely we'll stay online for the rest of the semester. My rest of the semester, but you're allowed to stay on campus and like kind of live your life, just not going to classes. Everyone here was kind of preparing for that. Like I was talking to people like who's gonna stay. And like I was planning on staying cause I was gonna like work still. I have two jobs, so I was gonna keep working those jobs. And then, as of a few days ago, they're like, um, yeah, you should probably leave. <laughs> Unless you, like, really want to stay, but, like, we're gonna close everything. And literally only, like, one dining court's gonna be open doing takeout service. We're gonna move you around because everyone's leaving, so, like, we'll probably put you in a dorm. And you might not stay in your residence hall, and... Yeah, you should probably go home. So... Purdue is shut down for the rest of the semester, and... I originally wasn't even gonna move out. But now, yeah, shit fell, hit the fan real fast on that one. All right, I think to spice this video up, because I kind of feel like it's losing its, like, I don't know, this video makes no sense. I'm gonna answer a few Purdue related questions that I've got. All right, I'm also too lazy to grab my computer, so I'm gonna be like kind of periodically reading questions off my phone. But yeah, basically it's this one right here. And she asked, uh, fuck. Asked by Sky Ambler, and she basically just asked like, "What major? What should they major in?" That is a really interesting question because I mean, there is no right answer. I think a lot of people have this like preconceived notion that they have to know what they want to do, like especially when they get to college, and that's understandable because you are like spending money, and it's like it it can feel to some extent like every semester you don't declare a major that you're sort of wasting money and that you could end up you know prolonging your education when. And I just want to say, it's perfectly okay to not know what you want to do. The college is there for you to explore, and it's not like you have to come in knowing that you want to be an engineer, and knowing that you want to like be a doctor or whatever. Like, there is time for you to find what fits you. So, yeah, definitely think about what's important to you, what's what you've been passionate about in your life up this far, and think about how you can make that thing you're passionate about 
the thing that makes you money. I don't know what else to say other than just, you don't have to know. And even if you're like, your first year here. All right, Anaria Webb asks, you should do a video on the best campus jobs. And I completely agree, except I feel like I could answer that within this video instead of making it its own. Campus jobs are a very important part of life, so I'm glad she asked. Basically, my one piece of advice for getting a campus job is look for a job where you don't have to work the entire time you're working. I know that sounds kind of like weird or like fucking cryptic, but I'll explain. Basically, when you come for STAR or BGR, like any sort of orientation before your freshman year, or even like the first few weeks of like the beginning of the year, the dining courts are gonna be all up in your face. Like, oh my God, work here, it's $9 an hour, you get great benefits, leadership opportunity, blah, 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 work at the dining courts, work at the dining courts. And don't, don't do that. And the reason being, if you work at the dining courts, every single one of your shifts, you're gonna be working the entire time. For your four hour shift in the dining court, you're gonna be grinding for those four hours. And you're not even gonna be making nine an hour. You're gonna be making 875. And I know this because my friend works there. They kind of jip you, like they do, they round it up so it sounds better, but it's 875, not nine, which is important. You should be looking for like desk jobs, like any library desk job where you can just sit there and like be there for if people need you, or like working at ITAP where you're just sitting in the computer labs or working at dorm front desks. Those are great as well. Basically, those jobs, you're allowed to do homework. Any job where you're allowed to do homework on the job is a good option. Like that's all I'm gonna say. Your time is valuable in college. You can need as much of it as you can to devote to your studies. And if you're working, you know, for eight, 12 hours a week, actually grinding through work, it's gonna be hard to balance that versus you working 12 hours a week, but you only actually working for like, six hours of that and then the other six you're doing homework and it's not like it's you're not allowed to do homework they specifically say you're allowed to when you're not like occupied with customers so that's my advice on that yeah basically if you want to work like a food service job just like go to like starbucks or panda like they pay better so all right robert garcia asks how fucked he is for only being in pre-calc right now uh and knowing he has to take calculus you're you're fine although a lot of people have attempted like a b in high school I'd say a, ma a vast majority still end up taking like Calc 1 when they first get here. Yeah, you're definitely fine. <laughs> a ton of people take Calc 1 and they do just fine. So don't worry about it at all. Brian Thomas asked about changing majors within Purdue, changing schools within the overall university. And that's like a difficult question because it depends heavily on the major. And like he said, he was accepted for finance, I believe, and he wanted to do something more like comp sci or like data science. And I know neither of those are in the College of Engineering technically. I know that's like one of the harder ones to like transfer and do if you're here already. And I know CS is kind of hard as well, but definitely just talk to your advisor. I'm not sure if you get one when you're admitted yet, but there's definitely like um, a page called Kodo um, on the Purdue website where it's just like transitioning majors. I forget what the acronym Kodo stands for, but it basically just applies to anyone who wants to transfer majors while they're at school. Um, and I think that there really is no limit to how early you can do it. Like one of my friends was in FYE when she was admitted and then transferred to Polytech immediately before she even got to campus. So it's definitely possible to change really early if you want to. Sam Michelle asks about choosing between two colleges for neurobiology and psychology. And although I don't know a ton about Purdue's neurobiology program, uh, you did say they're similarly ranked. And I think for me, that means generally speaking that they're kind of peer institutions and you really can't go wrong at either place. So then it's basically just like a matter of, I think first and foremost beyond that is cost. Uh, are they similarly priced for you? And if that isn't an issue, then I like to think about like location and the culture of each campus and the best way to get an understanding of that is to just visit each college. But if you can't do that, especially now, then I say the next best thing is honestly like social media. So talking to people who go to either schools, that can include me if you wanna know questions about Purdue. I've gotten some DMs from people before. So yeah, feel free to reach out if you have questions. If you don't know anyone at either school, I say the next best thing or an equally good thing is looking at like profiles of people who are at each school. Um, you can kind of get a sense of like the vibe or the culture what people do at either place or even like looking at youtube videos uh, not to like self-promote or anything but definitely like looking at the little vlogs of like people make can... all right since my phone keeps deciding to run out of memory i am going to switch the segment to official move out vlog related activities
I think I'm gonna attempt to roll up this carpet. Well, that was the fucking most difficult thing I think I've ever done in my life. Probably should have waited till my parents got here to even attempt that, but so be it. I, it's done. <laughs> Bye-bye, apartment. This is where the fucking sad part is, realizing I'm never gonna be here ever again. Like, this was, this was my home, and I was expecting to be my home for like two more months. I guess not. Big sad. Hamper? Messier?